high again. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at what is an essential oil. Let me just... Okay, so what is an essential oil? So an essential oil is the aromatic compound that's found in a plant. So in the seed, the bark, the roots, the leaves, the stems, the flowers, and so many different parts of the plants. And it's both beautifully and powerfully fragrant. Uh, the essential oil gives the plants their distinctive smell. It protects the plants from environmental threats, and it also plays a part in plant pollination. And in addition to the intrinsic benefit to the plant, their beauty and their beautiful fragrance, the essential oils have been used for hundreds of years um, in both healthcare, beauty preparation, and food. So they even uh, said that when they opened King Tutankhamun's tomb, once they removed the seal, they could actually still smell lavender inside the tomb, which is quite interesting. So basically, it's a natural substance that's distilled or pressed from plants. It's part of nature's defense mechanism, so it helps the plant's immune system. It's been used anciently and throughout history, and it's super highly concentrated, like I mentioned before. So this picture here is a blown up photo of the um, peppermint leaf. And so one drop of oil, of our essential oil, doTERRA essential oil, in say the peppermint one is equivalent to the amount of dried peppermint, the herb, in 28 cups of peppermint tea. So that just shows just how powerful they are. The other really interesting thing about essential oils is their molecular structure is so tiny that it can get through a cell wall. Now, when you go to the doctor and they say, hey, you got a virus and there's nothing much we can do, go home, rest, you know, put your feet up. That's where essential oils can really come into their own. So where antibiotics can't get through the cell wall and help um, the cell get better, a essential oil can get through the cell wall. So because their molecular structure is so tiny. And like I said, again, 28 cups of peppermint tea is equivalent to one drop of peppermint oil. So you really only use the smallest amount. And that's it for today. So the next one we're going to look at is um, oil usage and oil safety.